today I'm going to be telling you how to winterize your Luma Comfort EC110S portable evaporative cooler. Winterizing your evaporative cooler helps extend its lifespan and increase its durability, and it makes sure that the unit will be ready to go when you need it again in the spring. The first step in winterizing your portable evaporative cooler is to clean out the water tank. Pull out the water tank and then use uh, using warm water and a soft a soft cloth or sponge. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the interior of the tank to get rid of any get rid of any of the gunky residue that might have built up over the course of the summer. After you're done, you're going to want to go ahead and clean out the water the water pump as well. Fill up your water tank and then add a cup a small amount of CLR. Just a couple of capfuls will be enough, and slide it back into the unit. Let it sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, to br break down any of the minerals um, around the water pump. In the meantime, you want to go ahead and remove the filters and the cooling pad. Press down on the black metal tab to back to pull out the filter, and then push, turn the knob to pull out the cooling pad. You never want to run CLR through your machine while you have the cooling pad still inside. The CLR will not only break down the glue that holds the pad together, but it'll also soak into the pad, so the next time you run it, the CLR will be pulled through the fan which can cause a burnout or get out into your house. Okay. After 20 minutes, uh, 10 or 20 minutes, you want to go ahead and run the uh, evaporative cooler without the cooling pads for about 30 seconds. Uh, this will let the CLR clear out any of the gunk or mineral buildups that have gotten into the piping. Don't run it for more than 30 seconds or you might damage the unit. After you're done, go ahead and drain, uh, empty the unit again, rinse it out with uh, clean water, and then refill it, put it back in, and run the machine for another two to three minutes just to make sure that there's no uh, CLR or calcium lime solution uh, left inside the machine. After that's done, it's time to go ahead and clean the filters and the cooling pads. To clean the filter, place the filter under running water just to make sure, and then wash away any of the dirt or debris uh, that might have built up there over the summer. To clean the cooling pads, you want to take a bucket and fill it up with water. Then you're going to add some lemon juice or Buy some lemons from the store and go ahead and squeeze them into the, into the pad. The citric acid is going to help break down any mold or minerals that have gotten into the cooling pad. Take the cooling pad, submerse it in the water for about 30 seconds. Then take it out, set it aside, and make sure it's dry completely before you store it. You never want to store your cooling pads uh, while they're wet or damp. This not only encourages mold growth, but can actually cause your pads to start rotting uh, while they're in storage. In order to make sure that they don't absorb any water at all during the winter, we actually recommend storing your cleaning pads in a separate box. That way, they're going to stay safe and dry until you need them again in the spring. Once everything else is dry, go ahead and put the filter back on the unit. Wrap up the cord, and the unit's ready to be stored away. We recommend storing it in the original box or uh, underneath the tarp. Make sure you store it someplace warm where any water inside can't freeze, and somewhere where it's out of direct sunlight. Uh, placing it in direct sunlight may cause the plastic casing to become discolored. Uh, then all you need to do is just wait until spring, and you go ahead and unpack it, and it'll be ready to go again.